anthropology broken down to its Greek form is anthro meaning human and pology meaning study of. Therefore, anthropology is the study of humans, past and present. American anthropology has traditionally been divided into four fields in order to better understand the diversity in human appearance and culture. The four fields method was introduced by the father of American anthropology, Franz Boas, who had a PhD in physics, which he received based on his work exploring the color of water. Franz Boas divided anthropology into these four fields, cultural anthropology, physical anthropology, linguistics anthropology, and archaeology. Generally, culture is from behavior that is learned and passed on generation to generation, though people are becoming more aware of different cultures today. However, culture is far more complex than this simple definition. Even though anthropological theorists have been attempting to define culture for quite some time, the definition remains elusive. The task of anthropology historically has been to focus on societies other than our own. Humans possess culture that makes them significantly different from other members of the animal kingdom. Culture refers to the human behavior, symbols, beliefs, ideas, and the material objects humans make also may be referred to the way of life for people. Though humans have culture, they are still primates and share 99% of their genes with other members of this biological order. Other animals have systems of communication such as calls, but no other animal has the equivalent of the human language. The behavior of humans is governed by cultural rules. While all other animals have patterns of behavior that are determined by their genetic makeup, no other animal cooks its food and eats meals according to cultural rules the way humans do. Some anthropologists argue one must constantly consider man within this larger biological context, since only then will we be able to understand how language and culture evolve in humans. In contrast, other theorists have argued that knowing the biological and evolutionary background of humans tells us nothing when we set out to study cultural behavior and languages. To them, in the fact that humans are animals is simply irrelevant in the study of human cultural behavior. What are the premises with which anthropologists today investigate the culture or way of life of people with all its variations and premonitions. Each culture has an underlying logic of its own. For people from another culture, it's like looking through a looking glass at a world very different from one's own where people behave in strange ways. People's behavior makes sense once we understand the premises by which they live. The anthropologist's task has been not only to translate cultures in their premises to make them understandable to us, but also to categorize cultures in terms of the analytical concepts developed in anthropology that permit comparisons to reveal cross-cultural differences and similarities, spread of the ideas through globalization. Anthropology still has a mission to perform. Participant observation is key in cultural anthropology. It is to learn more about other cultures to permit intercultural communication so we can better understand other people. In turn, the anthropologists study in this field will put themselves in their research context for a long period of time to get the full view of how a certain culture interacts, solves everyday problems, and lives their lifestyles.